Climate change, I think it's a lot of hot air and I think it's just a good excuse for the government to charge the people of this country more taxes and just get more money for the government to waste on other, other things. There's a lot of old-fashioned traditions in football, and I mean, I, I, I'm all in favour of traditions, but some of them, there's no reason why they can't change. I've supported Forest Green since I was a kid. Watched them go through from the local county league into the national league today, and knocking on the door of the football league. I've been supporting uh, it's probably most of my life. I live here, it's uh, my local team. You know, they had their ups and downs, but I still love them. Well, Dale came in when we were in a really bad way. I mean, we could have easily gone bankrupt and, and completely folded. Dale Vince is the, the majority shareholder at the club, very big majority, and he effectively owns, owns the club. Well, I think he got his money from, like, uh, the windmill very close to here where he got renewable energy and started selling it and stuff. Ever since Dale Vince has come in with Ecotricity, there's a little bit more money and we've got better players come in. He's changed the colours of the team. It's more than just football now at Forest Green. Uh, Dale's values come through loud and clear. His vision is, is about progression to the Football League and ideally up to the Championship. Um, but also, it's all about sustainability in football. Definitely got a lot fancier, isn't it? Like, <laughs> yeah, a lot I mean, fancier. Start off, it's all gone vegan. That's, yeah. that's the main talking point. You know, it's uh, vegan. always been quite a challenge having to deal with that. We had to get a burger beforehand before we came up, so that was a bit of a shame. But most fans, I guess, a lot of people might not like that. They come to the, come to the football, they want a burger and a pint and that kind of thing, whereas they can't really get that here anymore. Yeah. Nobody really has a bad word to say about the food because the food's good, but there is still the, uh, the traditional football chant of... Horrible, it's horrible. It's, no, it's not even butter in it. It's dry. I'm angry. I'm, I'm trying not to swear. I'm apparently saying to their own or so, I don't know, but I don't care. We want meat, that's it. That's all we want. It's a veggie burger with salad. Um, Rich, what are you doing? It's the same as yours. Well, that's, that's all they sell. <laughs> 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 it soaks up my alcohol and take for the game. I shouldn't say that, the mic might see it. But... <laughs> it is joking aside, it is nice. One time you couldn't, I suppose, contemplate eating vegan food, but uh, I spoke to Dale about this on one occasion. He told me then that uh, to produce one tonne of beef you take ten tonnes of grain uh, to feed the animals that produce it and to me that doesn't make sense. Some thought they were being dictated to and it was a bit uh, offensive and that kind of stuff so there was a reaction you know which was uh, let's say bigger than, than I expected um, but I wouldn't say it lasted awfully long. Uh, we said look uh, don't worry about what's not in the food just come and try the food uh, you know try to be open-minded there's only a football game once every two weeks on average, so it's a couple of hours of the day. Don't come and try to eat what you normally eat, come and try to eat something different. Forest Green Rovers uh, makes 20% of its own electricity. One of our stadium rooftops is coated in solar panels. Uh, the other 80% we bring in through the grid, but we bring it from our windmills, from, uh, you know, from ecotricity sources. Uh, Water-wise, I mean, water is a very important issue. We, we've dragged a system of drains underneath our pitch so that whatever water goes onto the pitch from the rain or from, uh, from man-made sources, we capture it and we reuse it. So we've got a water cycle going on for the pitch. We have an organic football pitch, totally free of chemicals and pesticides. 
Dale's completely different to your traditional football club owner because of what he stands for. No other football club have green ethos uh, and look after the environment as much as we do. Uh, and that's something that I can help spread by what we do out on that football pitch. I'm sure in 20 years time, Forest Green will be looked back on as a kind of gold nugget where lots of things are in decay, whereas Forest Green would trying to show another way. Sport, like lots of things in our life, should be more sustainable if we're going to save the planet. I mean, it's a huge message. It's obviously important, you can't deny that. And so if you can incorporate it into daily life, like football pitches and stuff like that, it's brilliant. Everyone tells me it's very important. I think we see evidence of it around us. Uh, and therefore, you know, you, you've sensibly, you have to support it. Can't say I agree with everything. I like to burn a coal fire at times. But... Sport is a good way to get stuff out there. You know? Certain people aren't aware about how well things are, like the eco-friendly stuff and solar powers, everyone thinks are. So. Oh, it's going to take me six hours to get up some hot water to have a bath with seven panel, you know. When it comes to renewable energy, I think what a lot of people don't understand is that there's enough of it to, to power our, our entire lives. So take Britain, for example, you know, there's enough onshore wind to power the country four times over. There's enough marginal farmland um, to power us from solar, something like nine times over. We're surrounded by the sea, by waves and by tidal power. Um, and actually, we can make gas from grass. I think Forest Green are left wing eco warriors. I'm a bit disappointed. I've come all this way and uh, I've got a, no milk, me coffee, no meat pie. Yeah, I've asked for a chocolate bar. I don't even get a Cadbury's chocolate bar for me pound. So there you have it. I think there's a long way to go. Obviously, there's other clubs that do condemn, you know, what Forest Green are doing, trying to make fun of it. But um, it's helping the environment, and I think the message keeps getting across to the rest of the supporters out there. Hopefully, other clubs will follow what Forest Green are doing. I do think it's important for football as a whole because then we can we can set a trend. There's going to be a stage where we could have to rely on green energy, and everyone's going to remember what Forest Green Rovers did. It's all about preserving this place that we live on. This planet is our only planet and we want to live here for as long as we possibly can. <laughs>